director of Cincinnati Public Schools and the board's search for solutions to a major money problem. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Craig McKee. It's been a fast moving process for staff at CPS. In fact, early last week, all six school unions voted no confidence in Superintendent Ironetta Wright. She then stepped down Wednesday, agreeing to a nearly $325,000 buyout. And then just last night, two district insiders were appointed to be interim leaders. And now they're part of a special task force to right the ship. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey tells us how that task force is looking at job cuts to make ends meet. Day one of Cincinnati Public Schools budget task forces marathon meetings is over. The district's new superintendents and old treasurer meeting with all six unions to slash spending, threatening job cuts across the city. As Eve Grace plays at Ziegler Park, her aunt worries. I'm mind blown. I'm not gonna lie. Asha Moore worries about the education Grace will get if CPS moves to slash positions across the district, including teachers close a multi-million dollar budget gap. She worries already stressed staff could break. If it's more of a workload and not somewhere where people would enjoy being, then it's a chore and they don't want to be, you feel me, it's not as loving. It's not a very loving environment when it's work and not because we want to be here. The concern comes after District Treasurer Jennifer Wagner gave this presentation to the CPS board. In it, she says what was a near $6 million budget shortfall is actually closer to $31.5 million, and job cuts would likely be necessary. President Eve Bolton agreed. And I think there was just great resistance to cutting personnel, and that kind of money requires personnel. Bolton says the district's board and newly formed task force is up to the task of making cuts. These docs from the latest board meeting show the first of the latest rounds of cuts. Nearly a dozen jobs delayed except for the principal at Euler, only filled because state law requires it. And this district is almost 200 years old. Is this difficult? Is this rough? We're in a rough spot, but we're not in trouble. Moore says, for Grace's sake, she's placing her faith in the experts. I hope that I can trust them to do their job. That's the best I can say. Union reps expect these marathon meetings to continue until a resolution is hammered out. Treasurer Wagner expects concrete proposals in days, not weeks. At CPS headquarters, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News. All right.